matter who you are, it's gonna be tricky to know if you're getting every single thing and every single day in every meal or whatnot. So again, how would you know, by the way, if you're if you're deficient? Usually, just a, a symptom of feeling unwell in some way. Either your energy is low, um, maybe there's a health problem that's arisen. So this is again where sometimes doing a consultation with a nutritionist or working with someone can help you to to figure out exactly what's going on because mm -hmm. you don't want to play a total guessing game either, yeah. this is your health. But again, like I mentioned in the other video, when you're transitioning towards a vegan diet in general, if you're focusing on eating better, on eating whole foods, on eating way less processed foods, on eating mostly fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds, you're gonna be doing a lot better anyway. So try not to get anxious and all freaked out about it. But beyond that, I would say in general, add in superfoods to your diet. So again, those vegan superfoods that are really rich in certain vitamins and minerals. I mentioned them in the other video. Um, spirulina, chlorella, maca, bee pollen, chia seeds. A big one that comes up often when transitioning towards a vegan diet is calcium because of the uh, dairy, cutting out the dairy. Mm -hmm. Tons of greens is a great way to cover the calcium. So kale and spinach and collard greens. Spirulina is a great green concentrated food. So green, green, green for calcium and for minerals in general. Greens are the most mineral rich foods you can yeah. eat. So get, source them well, find really good green food concentrates or you know greens from the grocery store that are organic and really good quality, local ideally. Um, source them well, but greens would be a great thing. Getting enough protein will be important. We'll get, we're gonna probably get into that, I imagine, with yeah. some of the other questions, but add the superfoods, eliminate the bad stuff, and trust